going on guys today we're gonna be uh, converting natural gas to LP um, before you get started make sure the unit's off right there make sure the gas is off or propane is off All right we're gonna be using this kit right here so S1-1 NP0347 natural gas to LP conversion kit so here's our parts breakdown for the conversion kit we have our nipple tap nipple right there we have our pressure switch we have our wires for the pressure switch we got our muscles or orifice and we have our regulator spring right here All right uh, very important guys when you uh, replace or do a conversion kit to put this on on top of that little screw and then make sure you put that label somewhere visible next to the gas line uh, next to the gas valve or somewhere around I'm gonna proceed and break this unit right here we'll be installing <laughs> my tap nipple over here so we'll have to modify our modify our piping afterwards um, we'll also take all this the gas valve out. We'll take the manifold right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. We'll take the manifold out and change um, all the nozzles and see how it goes. Real quick, guys. Um, I didn't change this unit. This is a new unit. Another company did it. Um, don't do this, guys. This is this is awful. It's really bad. Don't look good and. I don't know what they did, right? Just don't don't use dope like that or especially in the union. Don't don't do it. Right? So I cracked the union as you guys can see and look at all of this. All this right here. This is why you don't put dope in the face of a union. I don't know if you guys can see it. All of this can go into the gas valve. Up into inside here and clog the gas valve or god forbid leave it open right so don't do it that's a no no please so to get the burner manifold out all you guys gotta do is take the quarter inch screws from here on this part particular unit it's quarter inch uh, I'm not sure what the other ones have um, so I got the gas valve and the manifold out Spin it around, and this is what we gotta we gotta change, right? This is for natural gas, and we'll use this ones for LP. All right. Now this is uh, it. All depends on um on on when where you leave, and the type of unit you're using. All right. Uh, when I say where you leave it, it means how high above the sea level you are because gas pressure changes and its combustion, whatever, changes with the uh, atmospheric pressure. So here you can see the difference between the two. You have the the gas orifice right here. Oh, oh, my bad. So you got the gas orifice right there and then you got the propane orifice right here. Um, you can see the propane, it's a lot more smaller than the gas, right? And that's why we gotta change the, the nozzles because if you were to leave this one and use propane, you will have a really, really bad day or too much combustion and that's not good. You also wanna use just a little bit of pipe dope around in the threads all right so with a 7 16 wrench we go ahead and get them all tight okay so we got all the orifices in uh, what I usually like to do is to um, wipe the joints wipe the compound off the threads after I you know I install it so <clears throat> we're going to proceed and replace this uh, the regulator spring 
So for that, you need a flathead. You take this out, take the little spring out, and you uh, put the new spring in. Okay, so I took the spring out. Took, I took this screw out first. Then I took this one out. You need a flathead for that one as well. Then I took the spring out. I'm going to show you the springs. They're right here. You see the difference. This, the one on the right is the gas spring, and the one on the left will be the new propane regulator spring. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this, all of this apart. I could have done it out there, but I like to uh, do it here. All right. Uh, basically, this is all the wiring you gotta do when you take the gas valve out. And then we'll rewire some things after we put the pressure switch in. Okay, so we have taken uh, the inlet piping out. And I'll go ahead and replace or uh, install our tap nipple for our pressure switch. Alright, so we got the, top, uh, the tap nipple in. Uh, one thing you guys got to note um, is that the... The tapping has to be facing out horizontal, um, horizontally and not vertical. Why? I don't know. That's how they want it. Um, now, I, I don't do this in all, all the furnaces that I convert to LP. But on this one specific, we put a pressure switch in. Uh, always refer to the instructions that you get and read them and follow every single step that they they give you. Okay, so I'm ready for my final connection and I'm going to replace this union right here. I just I don't I don't like it just the way it is or I don't know why they put so much dope on it. Right, so we finished replacing the union right here. As you can see it's completely different from what it was before. Um I wiped the pipe dope off the threads. Um, you don't really have to do it, but I always do it just because it looks a lot better than that. Okay. Okay, so as you guys can see, pressure switch is in. We're going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to do it right now in a little bit. Disconnect the purple wire from the flame sense. Connect it to my male adapter right here. From the male adapter, I'll come over here and I'll go from this leg back into the flame sense with this. Uh, this wiring harness is provided with the kit, so you don't have to worry about buying it or making one. Okay, so here's what I did um, I went from the flame sensor, I disconnected. This one right here and connected it to the mill and of this harness provided with kit. Alright. Then I took the other two females, each each side of the each wire went into the pressure went into the pressure switch right here. And then I went back out into the flame sense. All this pressure switch does is it shuts the unit off or it shuts the gas valve off when the um, well when it's running it shuts the gas the gas valve off when the um, propane pressure drops below six inches of water column uh, it's pretty neat it's nice another uh, safety device we'll go ahead and place our LP sticker on the spring regulator and our warning I usually like to put it right here in the gas piping so they can see it when they open the unit um, right there some other people put her up here on the burner manifold, but I have a feeling that they're not going to see it. 
so usually I like to put a zip tie usually I like to put a zip tie right here on the warning label just so it doesn't fall or anything like that but that's enough to read all right so we'll go ahead and leak test our gas line that's one of the most important procedures of this whole thing um, many people don't do it but I always like to do it it doesn't matter how small the repair is so I went ahead and put bubbles or soap in all my joints as you can see um, and there's no micro leaks or micro bubbles growing obviously there's the small bubbles from the soap but none of them are growing so I leave that uh, for a couple of minutes just to see if something happens I also leak tested the old old piping uh, I didn't work on this but since it's after the gas valve yeah I want to test it anyways all right so all the joints are wiped everything's set everything's ready to go um, this is what I use to uh, leak check um, it has a little A little that little dive at the end. It's pretty neat. It's um, it's not messy as the spray, so I use this on all my small repairs. For big installs that we do, I use the spray obviously because I need a lot. This unit is brand new. Um, we do the service on this building, but I guess they had somebody else come in and change it. Uh, I don't know if they know what they're doing or not, but I guess they couldn't get it to run. This this is the exhaust pipe. Outside it was clogged. There were birds uh, living inside it. So I cleaned that out from the outside. Um, and obviously we did the conversion because they have uh, propane, they don't have natural gas. Alright guys, so just an overview of what we did today. Um, we converted this gas fire furnace to LP or propane gas. Um, what we did was we changed all the nozzles up here, the orifices. We uh, installed a pressure switch right here, a tap nipple right there. Um, we got a warning label, our new union right now. And now uh, we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up for the first time. So you guys are going to be the first ones to see it come on. And hopefully everything's right. And if I blow up, you guys are going to be the first ones to see me blow up too. So just make sure the gas is on, switch is on, and here we go. Those are going. It's, you can hear the pressure switches click in right now. You see the igniter going up there, nice and orange. So that's a good sign. And there we go. We got fire. All right. So it looks like this bad boy is working nice and you see all nice and blue that's the kind of flame you want in this kind of units blue flame awesome well there you have it how to replace or how to convert from natural gas to LP uh, if you guys have anything to add or any uh, advice to give me go ahead post it down in the comments I'll be more than happy to learn from you guys and uh, hopefully uh, somebody learned something today.